Hey, welcome back to JG3 Reviews. I'm James and I review fountain pens and some other pens too that I have in the works, but uh, mainly fountain pens. And today I have a pen that is new to me and a new company to me. And I'm gonna review today the Bauer or Bayor. I guess it depends on if you're a bigger fan of Jack Bauer or of Star Trek D Space Nine and the planet Bayor. Uh, how you say that name, is that is that how we decide? Uh, but this is a, I'm gonna go with Bauer, really like 24. Uh, Bauer 508. And uh, saw this pen and I was kind of intrigued by it. It's a bit different shape. Not, to be honest, not even sure yet. I've had it for weeks now. I'm not even sure yet quite what I think about the shape. I will say this, uh, it's unique. Bauer and Jin Hao and some others, of course, do some pens. Some are uh, homages to famous pens uh, like the Jin Hao 159 and, and, and the Mont Blanc or lots of uh, different uh, versions of the Parker 51, things like that. So in Parker Sonnet, Bauer makes a, a Parker Sonnet. Uh, I'm not gonna say clone, I'm gonna say homage, okay? Because there, there are differences, but you, you take your opinion as you want to. Uh, but this one, put in the comments if you know that this is actually similar to something else. It seemed kind of unique. So even though the shape is maybe not a shape I would have have picked normally, I picked this one to review first among the Bauer pens because it seemed, compared to some of their other designs, to be a lot more unique. Uh, it flares out at the top, it flares out at the bottom, and maybe that's the part I do or don't like. Again, I really haven't decided, I'm not sure, uh, but I know overall I like the look of the pen. So let's uh, go ahead and turn the camera around and let's look at the design closer up so you can see what I'm talking about. And, and see if you like this design. I'd like you to share in the comments what you think about this design because it is something that appears to me to be something a bit more unique for a Chinese pen, and I like that. So let's, let's turn the camera around and take a closer look. Okay, so this is the Bauer 508. Nice close-up picture of that. And now you can see what I mean about it flaring out at both ends. It has a very unique clip. Uh, kind of arches back at the back and a lot of room in there and it is good and stiff without being too stiff so I I'd give the the clip good marks for that I don't know what the finish on this is actually made of this is a metal pen it has some good weight to it uh, the cap has a good weight to it and uh, very secure snap so it, it uh, snaps on very securely, no, no wiggle on mine at least. Uh, one thing you will know about Chinese pens, Bauer, Jin Hao, and uh, the like, is that quality control is not quite what it is in Western factories. Now I say that just as a reality. Every now and then you're going to get a pen that's a little bit off in some way or another. And, and this pen actually is. If you see that right there, right here, there is just a little bit of that finish on mine that was chipped. And I don't know if that was in manufacturing or in shipping. The way it was wrapped, I'm actually gonna guess it was probably at the factory. And it's it's really kinda too bad because otherwise, and I'm gonna, just gonna overlook it, I'm not worried about it. I think I paid just a few bucks for the pen, but I'm gonna overlook it. However, you know, if, if, if I was going to give this to a gift, I would be really disappointed because I would have to make another plan because I wouldn't do that, but this was just for me. Um, the finish overall is really nice. The quality all overall I think is quite good. Everything on my pen is nice and tight and well made except for whatever accident happened there. Probably sometime in the manufacturing or shipping process something happened there. And uh, probably would have happened with me anyway eventually but still you, you know what I mean. Moving on. Nice finish, and you notice because it is a lacquer type finish, whatever this material is, it has depth to it, and I hope that the camera lets you see that. I'll turn that around. You can see the swirl of blue there, and that's really kind of striking. I've, I've seen some good pictures of this same pen in red. I'm not so much a red pen guy, uh, just not my taste, but I thought it looked really good in the photos. The red finish looked really good. So if, if red's your color, you might want to check this one out. And I'm not really too worried about this being a constant. Uh, I think that's just my pen. And unfortunately, that's going to happen because of the way the manufacturing works. And you know, I, I hope someday that they, they add in a lot more quality control because my experience with Jin Hao, and Jin Hao owns Bauer, by the way, 
my experience with Jin Hao and my experience with this pen as a bower and the same with Wing Sung is that they all make some excellent pens and when when they're really on point their pens are really good uh, every now and then you're just going to find a, a flaw like that that would have been caught by somebody in a quality control at the end of assembly uh, so maybe maybe they'll step up and, and do that in the future if so they're really going to start knocking some stuff out of the park because they do overall a good job uh, so a little bit more on the style you can see the pen there it's a beautiful color it's a nice blue if you like blue it does have at the top uh, just a plain finial no no logo that's my ceiling fan maybe they should put a logo like that right in the middle <laughs> but uh just a, a nice plain metal metal top to the cap which is 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 nicer than just a plain black plastic right uh, the bottom does not have that it's just black but it looks good for what it is some nice uh metal bands both at the end of the barrel and at the end of the cap and of course uh, there where the cap meets the barrel and I think those all look pretty good so let's let's open this up the uh, cap uh, posts securely you see it has when it's capped it has kind of a nice shape there to the pin it's it's not an overly thick pin it may be a little bit for some people uh, down at the section might be a little bit small that's all just going to be according to your taste there's uh, I think it's actually a, a nice design kind of a, another classic fountain pen old school overall style there are some things that are a little bit different about this pin though uh, the section is just a nice smooth plastic that's not different uh, inside though there are no fins it's a, a different kind of a feed and I'm not going to take this apart today uh, that far down but you'll notice here that the feed under the nib is totally smooth now there are other pins like this but it's just a more unusual design and along with uh, that being smooth you turn this over it's a steel nib mine is a medium with the Bauer name logo there on the nib and some some nice design to it but it's it's overall a fairly simple nib you'll notice it doesn't have a breather hole doesn't seem to affect the performance of the pen it's just a different feeding system ink feeding system than some pens that you may be familiar with and some other brands with the the smooth feed feed and no fins and no breather hole but what i found is that the pen does write very well so i'll show you that in the in the writing test you can be a judge of that on your own let's open this up of course this takes several turns to get that around and it does come with an international standard style cartridge with again the bauer name on the end my uh experience with Jin Hao, their parent company is that their feeds while inexpensive uh, do a good job this one so far has two and i i expect about the same performance from that there are people different fans there are fin fans of Jin Hao and fans of bauer and of course again same parent company but uh, I, so there are some who think that Bauer makes a better pen than Jin Hao. I'm going to leave that up to you to judge. Since this is my first one, I'm going to call that not enough information for me to know. Uh, but it does come with a cartridge and, or, and a converter, and I love that. As you know, I am going to just keep beating the drum. If the $2 guys can do it, nobody else has an excuse. that We should just start demanding they all come with an included converter and call it a day but nice design overall and, and i like that it's a little bit different uh, that <laughs> the smooth uh, feed there under the nib just looks so weird to my eye but i do applaud them doing something different and trying a different style and uh, not just being uh, homages and copies and things like that overall the effect is a very different pen a nice pen with a good finish and uh like i say mine came with a mistake i don't think yours probably will uh but for two dollars i think this is a just an absolutely wonderful pen or maybe maybe been three bucks i might even splurge my been four i'll make sure i get that into the i'll put the details right up here by the time this gets to youtube but overall i like the design of this pen Okay, so let's see how this pen writes. Again, this is the Bauer 508. It writes, I think, quite well. Just, just about the right amount of uh, 
feedback without being scratchy or draggy. It's a fairly smooth pen. This is not my smoothest paper, so uh, a little more feedback maybe than on another paper, but I think it's good. This is, if you're a subscriber, this is a familiar color. This is the Noodler's ink. It is a midnight blue. And it's, it's good and dark. That's not just the lighting in the room. It's a, it's, it's a good, dark, midnight blue. I find uh, that it's a pretty pleasant pen to write with. Maybe it's a little bit skinnier at the uh, section than I would like. I don't know if you can see that very well because I can't see the monitor at the second. But it narrows down quite a bit on that section as it gets closer to the nib. So it, it's a... Uh, maybe just a little bit thinner than a Pilot Metropolitan. So there's that, and that's, that's just gonna be a matter of personal preference and the size of your hand and what type of, wow, can't count, what type of a grip you have. Apparently I can't count past eight and talk at the same time. But uh, I, like, I like the look of this and it doesn't feel bad at all. Uh, it's just narrower than I probably typically like, but I can hold it further back and it's not gonna bother me. Try to do the little bit of squirrelies there. I am terrible at these and really need some more practice. I'm gonna work on it. That's my pledge to you if you're a subscriber. I'm gonna work on doing those a little bit better. But you can tell that is keeping up with me just fine. Uh, and writes well. I, I like the pen. Uh, it's, I love that it comes with a converter and not bad at all, not a bad writer. Let me give you a little bit more of a, a close up there of that sample and you can get a little bit out of that okay so that's my review of the bauer 508 and for me it makes a good first impression the only flaw i really find with the pen is that little bit of a manufacturing issue on my particular pen and that's just kind of the risk on some of these chinese pens because of their quality control checks and the lack thereof at times but they make good quality things and most of the time for me nine out of ten uh, of the last ten pens that i have reviewed this is the only one that's had that sort of a thing and from what i have seen and read of other bowers and people who have reviewed those I don't think this is the norm. I just think that every now and then you make a million pins, you make a mistake, right? So that's gonna happen. But they just don't yet have those checks and balances to pull that off the assembly line before it ships. So what I hope is that they step up and do that because they're making some great pins. And if it wasn't for that one itty bitty flaw that only I will ever see on this pin, and you while you're watching this video, but hey, nobody across the room is ever gonna see that, that flaw. Uh, I think it's a really good pen, and it, it's really not eating me up that it had that problem. It's just, if you're going to buy it as a gift for somebody, check it over first, you know, that sort of a thing. But a very good pen. It writes very well, compares favorably, I think, to its parent company, uh, Jin Hao. The X450 is a favorite of theirs, of mine, and you can find that review there. I'll put the link up there. I think it compares favorably with that pen, but with a very different style. And so if you're looking for something like that, Go grab you one of these, and I will leave the link in the description below. Like and subscribe, come back, and we'll have some more reviews next week, and maybe even sooner than that. Just keep checking back every now and then, or put your little alert up there to tell you when I've got a new pen that's come in, because there are several coming along, and I'm excited to share them with you, and uh, this is another good pen. So go out there, grab you a good pen, get something written to somebody that, that you love and want to encourage. Why don't you write a note this week and use your fountain pen to do it. God bless you, and have a good week.